Hey everyone, so I just wanted to give you a look at uh, how our uh, server interface is working and talk about some of the changes we want to make, uh, hopefully and get some advice and help from the community in moving in that direction. So when you start up an eco server, you just run an executable and it will bring up all the different plugins that are part of uh, the server. So you have the plugin manager, which will tell you everything that's running, have your mod kit, tell you all the mods, and we're building the, the items and things we're building are actually mods themselves. Uh, stats, storage, world generation, and some of these plugins have uh, properties that we need to set. So here's, here's the first one I want to, uh, to tackle, which is the ecosystem properties. Uh, so you have a species collection here and if you open that up, this is uh, this is a property sheet uh, in .NET, and it basically just gives you uh, objects and then properties on those objects, and you can modify these things. Uh, there's some special objects, like you have a range here. It'll show you a range of values, uh, and you can create new species. In which case, there's a few species. Uh, derived species types that you can choose from, so it can be animal, plant, or tree, and that'll give you a different set of parameters based on what you choose. Um, and then you can have things like uh, uh, enums, drop downs, where it knows all the types, so what type of block you can choose, things like that. And basically, just a, a generic way to edit properties, lists of properties, custom objects and uh, all manner of combinations in there. So virtually specified objects as well, nested custom objects inside of custom objects, lists nested inside of lists. So we really just want to have take all this functionality and bring it into a web interface. So that's what we're asking uh, for help from the community for, is thinking of ways to do that. What are the best technology solutions for that? Uh, what are the easiest ways we can do that? Basically, we can convert all of this into uh, JSON data, send it to a browser, and then a browser will use some set of technology to edit that, add new things, and uh, and then send it back to the server where it'll validate it and, and then re-import it. So uh, hopefully there's something that kind of does what we want already that we can customize, and then we'll need to add additional features to have like type limiting things like this, for example or kind of specially represented objects like this range. So uh, prob probably some custom things on top of that. Um, and also having uh, parameter help would be something we like to add, so you can like get information on what each of these does. Uh, so if we can get something like that, we can take this interface and put it all through a web browser and just get a lot more flexibility in how people set up servers, how they interact with servers. People can remotely do it easily. Um, and we can ha connect all kinds of new systems that use this, this basic interface. So that's a quick look at our server and looking forward to hearing your comments. Thanks a lot.